In 2023, there are more options than ever before when it comes to rimless frames. So in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing not only four of the world's very best rimless eyewear brands, but also giving you some general tips and general advice when it comes to choosing your own rimless glasses. So hi, I'm Robert, Style and Vision Consultant here at the Spectacle Factory, and it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. And if you're into rimless frames, these could very well be your perfect glasses, at least something that we're going to showcase today, I'm sure you're gonna love. Because you would be surprised, you would actually be amazed at how much variety there is in the world of rimless frames. A lot of people expect that kind of all rimless glasses are the same, or at least similar, but I'm here to tell you that is definitely not true. Rimless glasses give just the same opportunity for expression and creativity as any other glasses. Just wait and see. Let's start with some general advice when it comes to rimless frames. It's important to know that unlike a regular pair of glasses where generally you'll have a full rim, with rimless glasses you just don't have that constraint. What that means is that anytime you're buying rimless glasses, they should be customized to fit you perfectly. You see, because there is no frame constraining the shape of the lens, it can be extended as far as we want to really, or shrunk down as small as we want to, to make sure that it fits you perfectly, both in terms of the width and the height of the lens. Or similarly, you can actually change the shape. So for example, let's say you try on these glasses and you absolutely love the shape of the lens, this round shape that you see here, but you're not so keen on the coloration or the minimalism of the titanium construction. Well, you could take, let's say, the Panther de Cartier rimless, finished in platinum, with the beautiful Panther detailing on the temples and that full metal side, and literally combine them together, taking this shape and this frame. And that actually allows a lot more opportunity for customization than basically any other glasses that you can buy. The second thing you need to know about rimless glasses, as we will see throughout the video, is that the mounting on the lenses is absolutely crucial. So for example, I have two pairs of McLaren frames here, and this one is assembled using a plug mounting system. We're gonna to get to that. Whereas this one is assembled using a conventional drill mount system. There are pros and cons to both methods, and there are more methods than that. And it's really important that when you're speaking to your optician, that they explain the pros and cons of all the different methods that are available and why one is right for you or right for that style of glasses. And the third thing, the third most important thing when it comes to choosing rimless glasses is to get the lens material just right. Because regardless of what construction the frame has, you're going to be drilling through your prescription lenses. And some materials, for example, Trivex, are much more durable to drill through and will give you much more optical clarity as an end result. So that's a really important conversation to also have with your optician when you're choosing your rimless glasses. We do have a full video on lens materials, which I'll link somewhere up here. So definitely check that out if you're interested in building your perfect rimless glasses. But that all out of the way, let's take a look at some actual rimless styles and hopefully give you a bit of inspiration for your next pair. And we're going to start with the newcomer this year, which is McLaren. The McLaren series of glasses in general, not just the rimless frames, has really, really impressed me, both for their ingenuity and their performance. They are some of the most comfortable glasses in the world and some of the most unique at the same time. What we see with McLaren rimless glasses is titanium construction on the bridge and the lugs, combined with Formula One tire rubber on the temples, and that rubber gives a couple of benefits. Number one, you're able to have a straight fitting arm so that there's no connection with the back of the ear. A lot of people find that a lot more comfortable to have glasses that just grip to the skull. But that's enabled by the fact that the rubber material is super grippy. They call it elastomer rubber and it really does grip well to the head so that you might think that these glasses would just slip down. They really don't. Not only that, but the elastomer rubber is extremely flexible and bendy as well. So that makes these glasses really durable. The finishing touches are the anatomical nose pads, which you just don't see on any of the glasses in the world. These mold to the shape of your nose, which is a brilliant touch, makes them a lot more comfortable on your bridge. And my favorite feature, which is the rotating hinge design. The Clarion rimless frames come in a variety of colors. You have red, orange, yellow, as well as black that you see here and a couple of different shades of blue. So there's quite a lot of opportunity to customize the coloration of them as well. Now next up, this is one of the newer McLaren designs. Whereas a lot of the McLaren frames have the coloration on the outside of the temples, with the new versions, McLaren have toned it down a little bit to have it on the inside of the temples. 
So this is still black from the outside, but now you have hints of orange on the inside of the frame, which is barely visible, but it is there. It just gives them a little bit of a point of difference. The geometric shape on these frames is probably the best lens shape on the entire table. I love the shape of these glasses and they feel very secure, very comfortable. That would be the overriding feeling that I get from the McLaren rimless frames is they feel very solid, reassuring and secure on the face, which is important, especially if you're going to be doing any kind of sport in them. And they are a very sporty aesthetic. But taking that to the next level are the one-piece lens rimless glasses from McLaren. So these actually have a one-piece lens design at the front, designed to give you really good panoramic vision and full sun protection all round. This obviously has the bright yellow temple design, which I love. A bit more sporty, a bit more bright and exuberant. I really like colourful rimless frames. And I think these are an awesome pair of sunglasses, particularly for sports like cycling and running. Baseball or cricket, these would perform really, really well for those kind of tasks. If you're wondering, yes, this can be produced in your prescription, but no, it's not quick and no, it's not cheap. So we actually produced these. We were the first in the world to make a pair of glasses like this in prescription last year. I was super proud of the end result. It took a lot of work around about three months of craftsmanship that went into making them. And we actually made them with a custom tint just on top of everything else. But the end result was truly worth the wait for the client. He absolutely loved them and they're his kind of dream cycling glasses. And this is one of a few examples I've brought out where you can combine a rimless frame with a tinted lens to really good effect. You're going to see more on that coming up later. But a quick word about the plug mounting system. This is the most ubiquitous, most common mounting system for rimless frames. And again, it has its pros and cons. The pro is that aesthetically, it's very, very subtle. Like you can barely tell that there are any joints between the frame and the lens. And a lot of people really like that for that ultra minimalistic look. You'll see that again in the Reykjavik eyes frames. And I think they rely on that to make them so minimalistic. It also makes it very easy to repair and maintain because almost all optical shops are gonna be able to work with that mounting system. But the con is that you do have a bit of play between the frame and the lens and those silicon mounting sleeves, they do degrade over time. So your glasses do need to be regularly tightened, albeit probably not more so than a typical nut and a bolt. So in that sense, it's not really worse. A lot of people prefer the really solid construction of a nut and bolt rimless. It does make the glasses more solid in terms of how they feel on the face. Anyway, with McLaren out of the way, let's take a look at the third style of mounting, which is produced by Flair. Flair are a German brand who actually were the first company in the world to make rimless glasses. So they were the OGs, the inventors of rimless frames. And a few years ago, they reinvented rimless glasses by reinventing the mounting system for assembling rimless frames. And I do think it is the best rimless mounting system in the world. And functionally, there is an argument that they are the best rimless glasses you can buy. Why is that? Well, rather than a simple nut and a bolt or the plug system that I described earlier, these are actually stitched together using a nylon thread that is looped and knotted through three holes. That means that Unlike any other rimless glasses, these are almost unbreakable, even at the drill points. They're incredibly flexible, especially when paired with a Trivex lens material, as I mentioned in my lens material video. This also happens to be, and this is another groundbreaking achievement from Flair, the lightest pair of glasses in the world at roughly 2.2 grams. So light that these don't even need nose pads. They have what is called a W or saddle bridge, which means that the glasses simply rest on the top of the bridge of your nose. Now, some people prefer that, some people don't, because it does make the glasses a little bit looser, as you can see. So for these to work really well, they need to be nice and tight and secure behind the ears. That special mounting system that I described, combined with the bio-steel material, which is a patented material used by Flair, makes these incredibly flexible. They're also screwless. Just an amazing piece of eyewear design, straight out of Germany, as you can tell. But even a frame as subtle and minimalistic as that, can be turned into a tinted pair of glasses. And I've combined this example, which is called the 693, with my Magma Orange specialized driving lens. This is, in my opinion, the best lens in the world when it comes to driving. So now you have not only the lightest pair of glasses in the world, but arguably the best pair of driving glasses in the world. Ones which you can't even feel that you're wearing, but give you amazing contrast, clarity, definition, and ability to read the road ahead while still stopping the glare of the sun and giving you beautiful, clear vision, even in low light situations. These are truly incredibly versatile driving glasses, which is something that I think more people should consider investing in. 
you know, we all tend to have glasses, we all tend to have sunglasses, but we all spend a lot of time behind the wheel. And actually it's the time where we're most vulnerable as well. So having something specialized for driving, in my opinion, is an essential nowadays. If you're going on a long drive, you want glasses which are going to be nice and comfortable. Nothing could really be more comfortable than the 693 from Flair. And you can even take that a big step further. In this pair, we custom created an incredible lens shape, which we call a butterfly shape. I'm sure you can tell why. For that really out there look. If you want a true pair of, I would say ladies statement sunglasses, these are hard to beat. These are awe inspiring. They're cool, but probably a bit much for most people, but it just shows what can be done with rimless glasses. You know, you can make a rimless frame, anything from this to this. And there's so much room for exploration, creativity, for you to customize them to you and to your personality. And finally, I saved the best to last because actually these are the most expensive rimless glasses on the table. At roughly three and a half thousand dollars, these are actually crafted from solid gold. That's true. All of this frame is solid gold and the emblem on the temple could only be created by a master goldsmith. The beautiful attention to detail to create a kind of teardrop effect from solid white gold is absolutely unmistakable. It's awe-inspiring to see. All of their glasses are completely made by hand in their own proprietary workshop. Start to finish, all components made by them, for them, for their glasses, for your face. It's a really cool brand that is so underappreciated. And next up, I think I've kept you waiting long enough, we have Cartier. Arguably the king when it comes to rimless glasses. Cartier have been creating rimless frames for decades. You can always tell that a frame is made by Cartier. This is definitely one of my favorites because it's one of the only models that actually combines gold and platinum together in one pair. All of the Cartier glasses are either gold or platinum. And for the fact that it has pure metal temples. That would be one of the things that I personally would look out for when I was choosing rimless glasses. With Cartier, you've got luxury materials like gold, touching your skin, wood or buffalo horn. And even with McLaren, you have that Formula One rubber, which is a lot more soft and padded. When you want really, really comfortable glasses, there is something to be said for ultra lightweight, but there's also something to be said for that reassuring feel of the frames against your skin. This shape I'm actually a really big fan of as well. It's kind of like a hybrid between a rectangle and a pilot. It's somewhere in between and it's very, very cool. Speaking of which, we have the even more unmistakable C. de Cartier, classic C. de Cartier or Piccadilly rimless frames. These have the huge C's of the house of Cartier coming around the front of the glasses. So you definitely could not miss them. And the thing is that these frames are standard, come in very basic lens shapes and sizes, but it's all about customizing them with a more adventurous shape and of course, a more adventurous tint. Something like this sunset violet tint is lovely to wear for evenings out, for special occasions, or even just relaxing around the house or relaxing outdoors on a moderately bright day. It's definitely not a full sunglass tint, but it does give good sun protection and it makes the world lovely and vibrant and warmer at the same time. So this one is finished in 23 karat gold, as all Cartier rimless frames are, either 22 karat gold or platinum. Obviously conventional paintwork is more susceptible to chipping, although on the brands that I've showcased today, those are definitely the more durable end of the spectrum. But gold plating in theory should never chip away, especially when it's done to the thickness of Cartier frames, which is five times the industry standard. That means you're getting a lot of gold for your money. And they are a lot of money, so I guess you should. Next up, an example of platinum. Definitely one of my favorite designs that they've ever produced is the Panther de Cartier, which has the Panther kind of pouncing towards the front of the glasses. It's a lovely touch that is still very subtle. It's decorative, but still understated, and I like that. And this also has the pure platinum temples, which feel really nice and cool and cold, but comfortable against the skin. Very boring, very underwhelming lens shape, but of course you're gonna customize that. You're gonna make it bigger, you're gonna make it cooler and more interesting. And then we get on to definitely the most coveted Cartier rimless frames, which are the wood and the horn. So in these frames, they all, I'm pretty sure every single model comes in either buffalo horn in black or white and wood in a variety of different colors, depending on the model. And in these examples, I've kind of chosen the more understated colorations. This is obviously quite a dark, deep wood. There's something very special about a wooden frame. I think even more so than the buffalo horn. In the texture that you feel when you wear it, you definitely get that kind of grip from the wood. It's got a natural texture to it, which is really nice. But at the same time, 
Very, very lightweight. These are not heavy glasses at all. As with all Cartier models, this is available in both gold and platinum, so you have both options again. And once more, a very subtle, simple lens shape. I think this lens shape you can get away with, and people do order it with this. But again, it's all about the customization. I definitely would add a tint and a different lens shape to this frame. It's very lovely, but it's quite subtle and understated. Certainly in comparison to the new edition that was brought out last year, which now has the gold metalwork going all the way down the temple. Now these new designs are only available in gold, so not platinum, at least not yet. They're clearly a very special pair of glasses. Anyone seeing these would know that instantly because they just have so much presence. Even just to hold in your hand, but let alone to wear on the face, there's so much presence and they have such character to them. And I think Cartier did an amazing job on the new Buffalo Horn frames. Again, you can get this in wood instead, although not the platinum like I mentioned. And the cool thing with Buffalo Horn, which I really, really love about the material, is the fact you'll never ever get two the same. Each pair is unique and natural, and that means that it's kind of fun to choose your own because you know that no one else will ever have that. The shape on this pair is just right. I wouldn't touch it, I'd leave it exactly as it is. Geometric, hexagonal, it's just cool. And I like the undersized nature of this. Now, sometimes a shape is too small, sometimes a shape is oversized, this, and, and I don't mean that in a bad way, oversized can sometimes be good. This is perfect for this model. I love how it works. So we've covered the newest rimless glasses. We've covered the original rimless glasses. We've covered the most iconic rimless glasses. But what are the most maintenance-free, easy to live with rimless glasses? Well, in my opinion, that would go to Reykjavik eyes. Reykjavik eyes are the first and so far only glasses in the world made from one piece of titanium. So this entire frame that you see here was cut from a single sheet, just as thin as this, laser cut and twisted into the shape that you see here. What that means is there's basically nothing to go wrong, even more so than the flare glasses. You can twist them, you can step on them, you can sit on them, the frames will not break. And in terms of comfort, just can't beat them. Even though they are technically marginally heavier than the flare glasses that I showed you earlier, when you put them on, there is basically no sensation of wearing them. Like most glasses, and even most rimless glasses, you can barely tell a difference when they're on compared to when they're not on. And that's not just achieved by the weight, which by the way is very lightweight. These are still under three grams. It's also from the construction, from the flexibility of the material, from the rubber temple tips, which give just enough grip, and the silicon nose pads, which equally give enough grip on the bridge. Everything there combines together to make these feel secure, but incredibly comfortable. And for most people, Reykjavik Eyes is the brand that I would recommend when it comes to rimless glasses. Sure, Cartier have the edge when it comes to luxury. McLaren have the edge when it comes to that sporty aesthetic. Flair definitely have the edge when it comes to something a bit different, quirky, unusual. But these frames from Iceland are incredible, trust me. Until you wear a pair, it's very difficult to appreciate. But also having glasses that are hassle-free is something that I think most people are looking for. And that's what you get with Reykjavik Eyes. Now, a pair that I wear myself and I get so many requests for is the Alba, which is a beautiful rimless frame, which I would actually say is the most stylish on this table because of the added extra brow bar. In my pair that I have, I customize these with a unique shape and unique tint combination. And we've actually replicated that tint combination and shape for about a dozen customers now all over the world to give them something really unique and special, but above all, cool. And I think these are extremely cool in a very Scandinavian, minimalistic way, which at the end of the day is what a lot of people want from rimless glasses. They want that minimalistic look. These have just a bit of edge to them with the added brow bar and the pilot shape. And also the orange coloration on the inside of the temples, let's not forget that. The cool thing with Reykjavik eyes is they're inspired by the Northern Lights of Iceland. So they all have these bright colors on the inside of the temples. Now the newest rimless design from Reykjavik eyes is the rimless tech, as they call it, which actually has a groove cut through the lens and then a silicon band inserted around the lens rim. What that means is that despite these being very subtle, you have just a little bit of definition around the eyes, which some people do prefer over conventional rimless frames, which sometimes can completely disappear for better or worse. These just have that little bit of definition to them, not quite as much as a full rim frame, but not quite as little as a rimless. And rimless tech has been amazingly popular for us because some people are looking to make that little step out of their comfort zone. You know, if you've had rimless glasses for a long time, sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of a change and this represents just a little bit of a change. And finally, I wanted to finish the video by showing you an example of just what 
you can do with rimless glasses. So we took a custom Alba frame from Reykjavik Eyes and we turned it into this. Now these are the same glasses, albeit in a different color. What have you got here? Well, quite a lot going on actually. So first of all, obviously these are the Alba rimless design with that added brow bar, that's number one. Secondly, they're a custom shape. Thirdly, they're a custom size. So you'll see how these fit me now. I think perfect fit. These are not my glasses, but they were modeled on the pair of glasses that I actually wear because people kept requesting them and we couldn't replicate them. Next up, they've got a custom tint. So these are actually adaptive sun lenses. They will adjust in the light between this 75% gradient and a full sunglass tint of 97%. They'll vary in between those two values depending on the light conditions, which is a really cool technology actually. Next, they have a sapphire flash coating, which gives them that blue reflection on the lens surface to tie in with the blue on the inside of the temple. And last of all, on top of all of that, they have the rimless tech construction so that the lens has that definition around the lens rim. That just shows how many levels of customization there are when it comes to rimless glasses. There is so much you can do, so much you can design to make your rimless glasses truly your own. And if there's one thing I want you to take from this video, it would be that. When you order rimless glasses, it's all about making the most of rimless construction to make them truly bespoke for you. But what do you think? Which is your favorite rimless brand? Which is your favorite rimless frame? Which is your favorite style, color, everything? I'm really curious to get your thoughts. We're building this amazing community of eyewear lovers from all over the world. So leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, if you liked any of the glasses in the video, definitely give a like to this video. Trust me, it's really appreciated. And if you want more of the best eyewear content on the internet, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon as well. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye bye.